Have you dug into Perplexity AI's focus feature yet? I just started experimenting with it and I found three ways that it crushes ChatGPT and about every other AI tool out there. Perplexity AI has been my go-to research tool for many, many months now. And if you think about it, most of us are doing research nearly all day long, whether it's making a purchase decision, planning a trip, or researching your next big business endeavor. So increasing the speed and accuracy of your research can be one of the biggest time savers, one of the biggest life enhancers answers you can ask for. And that's what this video is all about. Whether you've been using Perplexity for a long time or you're brand new to it, I want to show you three ways to use this hidden feature to put a laser focus on all of your research. So if you go to Perplexity AI, you're going to be greeted with this. It's a great place to do all of your research. It has completely replaced Google for me as it goes out and does many, many searches for every inquiry I put in here, summarizes all of those and gives me links to everything. But the one thing I hadn't played around with very much is this focus feature. If you click on this focus button, it opens up this menu with all of these different ways to use this tool. The first one I want to show you is the social focus. The social focus feature basically searches Reddit exclusively. And this is super helpful because Reddit is a really unique source of information. It offers authentic, diverse, and niche specific user generated content and provides researchers and marketers with really unique insights into real time trends and public sentiment. For instance, this is a local fair, a rural fair that just happened a couple days ago and it had all sorts of information about this fair. I just sort of asked it, what are people saying about this fair? And it pulled together all sorts of great information about what went down in this fair that happened in a small town just a couple days ago. So that is something that previously would be very, very hard with Google searches, or you'd have to do some uh, add a lot of different stuff to the prompt that you put into Perplexity. But by focusing your searches on Reddit, you can get really up to date and authentic information. For a long time, Reddit has been the place I go for any sort of buying decision because I've found that a lot of the users reviews there are much more trustworthy than some of the other review sites out there. Also, if I'm planning a trip, trying to figure out where to stay, or if I just want to get a feel for what's trending in my different niches that I operate businesses in, Reddit is a great place to find what's going on currently and authentically. If you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping everybody I can learn how to use these AI tools in the most practical and useful ways possible. I support this channel with Patreon. If you're getting something out of these videos, please consider checking out my Patreon where I've got a cheat sheet to this video and over a hundred others instantly available to anybody who joins my Patreon. I've also got some coaching options in there as well. And the next use case for this focus feature I want to talk about is this academic research. In previous videos, I've talked a lot about using prompts to find surveys, studies, trends, etc. There's oftentimes when you're doing market research or doing planning for big, you know, professional initiatives, you want to see what's going on from a researcher's standpoint, not necessarily from, you know, what one blogger said about, what another blogger said about, you know, different things like that. You want to find actual data to actual studies and surveys, this academic focus is your go-to for that. This can help you find peer-reviewed studies with in-depth analysis into specialized expertise, and it can be much more comprehensive than just your regular web searches, even your web searches inside of Perplexity. Here's an example of that. I'm looking at a project in the smartphone industry. So I wanted to gather some studies on recent smartphone trends. It pulled together some really cool stuff here all about these different smartphones and having it focused on those academic papers on true research can be really helpful so you don't have to put that in your prompt every single time and hope that it actually pulls those back. Every single thing that it pulled back here was something that I could put into maybe a product like Notebook LM to start analyzing it. I've got a whole video on how to do market research and how to find product market fit using these tools. I'm going to link to that now because I think this new academic focus feature inside of Perplexity is crucial to that process. All right, and now I want to share with you the number one use case that really blew me away when using this focus feature is this math focus. 
The question I get probably more than any other question is how to do data analysis with these different AI models. And while there are ways to do it, it's often not how people expect to interact with these models, where they expect to just load in some information and have a chat back and forth as if they were talking to a true data analyst. And that's just not how ChatGPT works. But this math feature actually works much more like that than any other AI that I've tried before. I loaded up a simple CSV or a spreadsheet that just had about a dozen different rows and maybe 30 or so columns tracking different metrics from week to week. And I was shocked at how good this analysis came back. Let me show you this stuff. So I loaded that spreadsheet in and just asked, hey, what was my best week for Patreon subscribers? It analyzed the CSV, it went through a lot of different thinking steps, and it pulled together this awesome analysis that shows everything here, including exactly what I was looking for and more. I did the same exact thing in ChatGPT 4.0 and it really told me nothing here, really missed the mark as it always does. So if you are doing anything with data analysis, I would highly recommend checking out Perplexity's math function here. A couple things you wanna keep in mind is really simplifying the amount of data that you put in there. I wouldn't put in there just tons and tons of massive rows and columns, just the things that you really wanna ask questions about. Start simply and see if you can get some traction there. A couple other quick things to note is that this reasoning model did really well. I did a lot of back and forth testing between this and the new ChatGPT 401 model. And honestly, I couldn't tell the difference. This did just as well as the new Strawberry 01 model that's getting all the buzz. I didn't do extensive testing, but from preliminary results, I could not tell a difference, honestly, between those two models. Another cool thing that worked out well is that I didn't realize you could upload images to Perplexity. So I uploaded this image of a lamp in my living room here and I asked it, hey, I'm looking to add a switch directly to this light. Can you please give me links to the pieces I'll need in order to accomplish that? And just from that, looking at this lamp, it was able to tell me exactly what materials I would need with links off to resources for those. It wouldn't exactly find the links to e-commerce pages where I could actually buy these things. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, but maybe in the future that'll happen. That's probably something Amazon's looking at rolling out very soon. And finally, the mobile homepage for Perplexity AI was really cool. There's a lot of interesting little prompts that just scroll past you that you can click on that I found when you're bored or you're looking for something to do, you can just go there and find some interesting things to learn about. One that scrolled past me today was, what was the origin of the Joker card in the deck of cards? So you can just click on that and learn something. Uh, whether you're bored, waiting for the train, something like that, looking to kill some time, check out that mobile homepage for Perplexity AI. Once again, I hope you've got something out of this video. I support this with Patreon. So there is a link in the description to a cheat sheet that includes all of this that we've covered and a whole lot more that I wasn't able to squeeze into this video. There's over a hundred cheat sheets in there that are instantly available if you want to support this channel. If you're getting something out of these videos, there's some coaching options in there as well. And if you haven't subscribed to Blazing Zebra, there has never been a better time. I've got a lot of cool stuff on the way, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Shoot me a comment. How are you using Perplexity? How are you doing data analysis? I want to hear all that stuff, and I will see you on the next video.